Stevenson beats Arcadia 91-83 here at Owings Mills Gymnasium. Glenn Clark with Coach Gary Stewart. Coach, uh, quite the game today. It was highly entertaining for all of us that were watching it. I'm sure it wasn't quite as much fun for you on the bench. Uh, you guys surrender mu much of your lead, but you never fully gave it up. And when you needed buckets, you got them. Uh, how much pride do you have in this team's effort today and getting this win? Yeah, I was really proud of the guys. You know, going in, we knew it was going to be a rock fight. And, um, uh, you know, they're the defending conference champions for a reason. They've got the uh, defending um, or the reigning conference player of the year. Um, and they've got some other guys that started uh, for them um, on a championship team. So we knew it was going to be a, a difficult task. And um, our guys, I, th I thought we fought. We, we really fought hard uh, and got some timely baskets and, and were able to make just enough stops. After the first time we got to see Worm Hughes here, I said, man, this guy looks like he might be special. You said that you don't know that you've ever brought a player into the program at this point that was this far ahead and this talented. What he's done these last two Saturdays, 62 points between these two games, um, how, how do you even describe what he's giving to your team right now? Well, we see it in practice. You know, we constantly talk to our guys. you got to get a hand up. you got to get a hand up. you got to make him put the floor, ball on the floor. Um, he is such a capable scorer. And, and you see the arsenal. You see the floater on the baseline. Um, so he's not just a one-trick uh, pony. And uh, we needed every one of them. Yeah, certainly did. There's no doubt about that. And then Jalen Johnson stuffing the stat sheet the way that he did tonight. Double digits and then I think seven rebounds, six assists, something along those lines as well. I, I, what he does to sort of stir the drink for you guys maybe goes unnoticed, I think, a little bit. It does. You know, he he uh, does everything. You know, he opens the front door. He delivers the popcorn and the programs. He's uh, so valuable to us. And, and I thought all night he put the ball in the interior. And anytime you do that, uh, good things are going to happen. Obviously, um, they're a tough outfit, and, and uh, he kept going back in and back in and back in. And at halftime, we said, you know, Jalen, there's no, they're not going to call any fouls. And so uh, he started to convert some of those in the second half. And, and that came through big time for you guys. All right, so now you get a couple of weeks to enjoy the holiday. Um, despite a good couple of Saturdays for your team, what do they still need to get better at as you guys get back out on the floor after the holiday? Well, uh, schematically, we, we need to improve on, on our spacing. And, and um, um, I thought we had Mark open uh, a multitude of times. We just didn't get in the ball. And so we'll look at that on film and, and uh, try to get some um, – uh, creative ways to get him the ball because um, uh, we need him down the stretch. And then um, defensively, we've just got to keep bringing it along. When it, when we're right, yeah, we're pretty good. And uh, we just got to get more consistent on that end. All right. Well, Coach, it's better to be doing those things after wins, that's for sure. Congratulations. Have a very good Christmas, and we will see you back here in January. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and all our faithful out there, and happy holidays. Thanks, Coach. He's Coach Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.